So Wizards released this picture and it is kind of beautiful. It is showing Jace, Braska, and Nyssa all turned into Phyrexians. But the only card we can really talk about is Nyssa because we can't see enough for the other ones. Nyssa Ascended Animus is 3 of any color, 2 green, and 2 Phyrexian mana for a 7 loyalty Planeswalker Nyssa. She has completed. And her plus 1 is create an XX green Phyrexian horror creature token where X is Nyssa's Ascendant Animist loyalty. Negative 1. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. And then the last one, you don't see how much loyalty it costs, but it gives all your creatures plus one, plus one for each forest you control and gain trample. So completed means that you can pay two life for each of these mana. And if you do, she comes in with two less loyalty counters. So she can be five mana for five loyalty or seven mana for seven loyalty, which makes this card really flexible. Her plus one is pretty crazy. Either way, if you're paying five mana or seven, she comes in and makes a huge do. And that creature would be really great to protect her so that next turn you can make an even bigger one and bigger one every turn, making from 8 8 to 12 12. That will win you a game. Of course, if they somehow deal damage to her, either with instance or attack. First of all, if they're attacking, you'll probably get a good trade with one of your tokens. But if they bring it to lower loyalty, her plus one gets a lot worse and then she becomes kind of okay but you already have gone a 6 6 or an 8 8 or destroyed an artifact or enchantment so she still has value her negative one is also pretty good value because a lot of deck run artifacts and enchantment the jukai naturalist deck might still be strong when this card comes out and there's getting more and more artifacts in the game as we've had brothers war and then this set will probably have some artifacts so it is very strong and her alt is actually really interesting so i don't know how much loyalty it costs but if you've been upticking you your Nyssa a lot. You have a lot of big creatures and the ult not only buffs them more but gives them trample so you can just one shot your room. So that could be really strong. If you're playing this against an aggressive deck having to pay for life for the 5 mana version can actually be a lot of life. I think this deck will be best in mid range and how mid range beats aggro is they play creatures that are bigger than theirs and then they overtake the mid game. So when you get to 5 mana your life totals can be really low and if you have to pay the four life maybe you're at seven you go to three and then you just shoot your face but if you have a lot of life she comes in and makes a six six a six six will probably block and kill everything at that so it's more likely that next turn she'll make a seven seven and just keep on going so yeah i think this card can win games especially if you're playing against a control deck and you don't care about spending the life because they'll overwhelm you with card advantage not damage so that could be also really good so yes i think this card is really Really powerful and I'm very excited to play with it because I love green midrange. Green midrange is my favorite. It got me top 9 in the world and top 22. So yeah, very excited for this card and can't wait to play with it.